take it for a drive. Um, yeah, I'm recording the inside because the outside is total crap. Uh, a week ago we were in uh, heat wave conditions where we were getting anything up to 40, 42, 43 degrees, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous weather. And now it's done a complete 180 and uh, we're flooded and we are flooded. Apparently the school's underwater again uh, for the second time in two years. Kids do go back to school on uh, Monday and I'd say it ain't gonna happen. Well, I can't get as far as the school. I've got a couple of friends that are down there trying to help and get books and computers and TVs. God knows what else they can save. But, um, yep, uh, just, uh, it's just uh, uh, unexplainable. They, they talk about this um, climate change, but to do what it's doing here is just stupid. We are literally gone back into the past, back to, back two years. Uh, we were isolated then for three days, I think we were isolated from town. But th that, that, that time we had food <laughs> this time. Uh, well, I've got young Joy here and we're not going to look. doesn't look like you're getting any rain too soon. So anyway, have a look at what's, what's, what it's like. And this is between here and no further than two kilometres away from my place. So I'll leave it with you. Just have a look. It's absolute garbage. There's water as far as you can see. I've copped it down. I feel sorry for these people next door. It's just nothing but water. Right up around the back here. It's everywhere. Just unbelievable. Yes. Have a look at this. I'm going to try and get into town just to see what I. Oh, no, uh, young Joy home. That looked good, any right? Come back around here. It's completely just rushing through there. And this is uh, the bottom end of our property. Pretty rough at the moment. Mm. I've got this guy in front. I hope you can see him or not. But a massive amount of water here. It's come across the road, something fierce. I'm not going to try and get through all this. I'll get that kid home. I haven't got him in there now, but I'm just going to have to take it nice and easy. These four wheel drives are all right. Oh, Christ, look at that. Mr. Oh, I think I'm gonna make it. Put a cut there. I'm gonna stick to the middle of the road, I'm using pretty right. It's usually the shallowest part. And another cake. This is the little thing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you we're cut off from down. There's no way, I think, because of the, the way the river course goes through, I reckon we're done. Uh, I don't think we're going to get through. Looks like the road's cut down there. There's too many cars. It's just powering through. All this water's coming. It's what you see back at my place. So that's completely cut there. And it's uh, one way we could only go. A lot of water here as well. Alright. Have a look up here so we can I don't like my chances at all. That's just rubbish. Present moment, that's how I cut off. I've got one other option. I'll try up the top of Milk Wickham Street. Follow this guy, see how he goes. I don't know whether he's going back home or he's uh, trying. This is our last chance, this is pretty. 
This one's ripped block, completely cut off from the uh, town altogether. Uh, history here too. I'm not going to be able to get through here. This is completely cut off as well. Well, we're totally isolated from town. This poor bugger here's got his uh, sandbag trying to trick his house. It's brand new, it's only been built in the last few weeks. Well, they've only just moved into it. But the water's actually getting worse. This rain doesn't cover. Pretty soon we're in a lot of more trouble. See if I can get you down there. This is up the top of the hill from my place, so you can see just how much water's down there. Well, what's going to happen here? Once the rain stops, it, uh, the water will go away pretty quick. But uh, it's been like this consistent heavy rain about 14 hours I suppose. It's, uh, it's made it pretty pretty terrible. <laughs> and I went hungry and got nothing to eat.